Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sutina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. Now, you guys asked and today I'm delivering. Today I'm bringing you my Mecca fantasy cart. Now, I was having a lot I was having a lot of trouble getting this card under a thousand dollars so I posted a poll on my community tab and you guys helped a sister out. I asked you if you would like me to challenge myself and keep it under a thousand dollars or if you just want to see everything that's in my fantasy card and you guys <laughs> came through with the goods. You have let me just go ham and throw everything in my cart that I would want to purchase at Mecca if I had the money. So essentially, this is just a one giant Mecca fantasy shopping spree. This is everything that I would purchase at Mecca if I had unlimited money because just pause this video right now. Pause this video right now and tell me down in the comments box how much you think this cart totals because it's a lot. <laughs> Let me... Uh, it's not as much as I thought it was going to be, but it is a lot. So pause this video. Let me know your guess down in the comments box um, how much you think this card is. And while you're there, let me know down in the comments box your guess of something that you think I will have included in this card. I'm going to reveal all that now and I'm also going to leave it right till like the end of the video to let you know <laughs> exactly how much the total of this card is. But this is basically in alphabetical order of brands. We're going to start with my beloved Bare Minerals. So the first thing on my list is a foundation from Bare Minerals that I've been wanting to try for quite a while. This is the Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation and I opted for the color porcelain which is 0.5 I went for this one because a lot of the shades in this foundation is out of stock that's another thing I will say that if you are surprised that you aren't seeing certain things on this list it's probably because it's out of stock so this card is purely like products that are currently in stock at Mecca anything that's not in stock I didn't bother putting on my list so but the first thing is the Bear Pro foundation this retails for 54 Australian dollars at Mecca now I see I think it's Abby Williamson always raving about this foundation she said that this is like the only foundation that she's purchased for like the last like five years or something so I'm keen to give this one a try and I've been wanting to try a Bare Minerals foundation for a very long time except um, I'm not the biggest fan of like powder foundations unless I'm going to use the powder foundation to set like a liquid foundation. So this is one of the few liquid foundations that Bare Minerals has. So that's why I want to really try this. Uh, so that's number one on my list. The next one from Bare Minerals is the Gen Nude Eyeshadow Palette in the Copper Color Story. Um, I would really like to try if I was going to get any of these eyeshadow palettes from the Gen Nude Eyeshadow range, it would be that the tropical one. It has like the rainforest vibe on it and I think it had like a green in it. Um, if I can find a photo, I will put it here of the one that I would really like to, to try but they don't have that one in stock anymore at Mecca. So out of the ones that they do currently have in stock, I would go with the copper one. This retails for $46 and it is a six pan eyeshadow palette. I really like the Bare Minerals eyeshadow formula. The Aurora Lights palette from Bare Minerals, which was from Christmas, not last year, but the year before, I think, is one of my all time favorite eyeshadow palettes. So I really wanna try more of their eyeshadow formula and more of their eyeshadows. So I'm going to have this on my fantasy list. A few more products from Bare Minerals. Um, going forward, there are a bucket load of cream complexion products on my list. I mean like cream bronzers, cream blushes. Um, there's a lot on my list. Cream, even cream highlighters. Like what is wrong with me at the moment? But I think because my collection is majority powders and that's normally what I gravitate towards when I'm spending my own money. If like money was no object, I would be trying all the cream products. I would be trying like everything. But I will say like 
when it comes to powders in this purchase, there's not many like powder complexion products because I feel like I already have majority of the powder products that are available at Mecca. That's why there's mostly cream products on this list. In saying that, the first one that I have is the Bare Pro Glow Bronzer in Warmth. There's only one color available in this bronzer, so I feel like maybe potentially it might be too dark for me. But if I sheer this out, I think that I would really like it. This one is $46 and I remember seeing the swatches when they announced this Bare Pro Glow collection. I think they came out with some blushes, bronzers and highlighters in the collection. They came out with like some cream type products and they came out with I think more, I think they were like powder to cream type formula. The swatch photos in that campaign looked absolutely stunning. And ever since seeing those photos, I've been really interested to like check out these kind of products. So that's why that one's on my list. And I also added the Bare Pro Glow Highlighter in, is it Whimsy? I think it's Whimsy, which is like which is like the lighter toned of the ones. I think, I think there's three colors in. Let me have a look. I think there's three colors. There's like a golden one, which is just too, probably too golden for me. There's a like peachy toned one, which looks very similar to the NARS Orgasm um, cream blush. So I went with the color Whimsy because it's, it looks better suited for my really pale skin tone and it's really nice and glowy. The next product is from BioEffect and this is a hella expensive product. This is the EGF serum. This retails for $195. And I think that this is like, like it's quite a small bottle. It's quite small. Um, I put this on the list because I remember seeing uh, someone was talking about this serum and they said that it was absolutely amazing. Like they found it actually really did some good for their skin. So when I saw that they were available at Mecca, I was like, oh, I would be really keen to try this product. Um, I think it may have been Kat actually. I think it was Kat that said she really liked this serum and if she could afford it, she would buy it again. But it came in at like almost $200 for a, quite a small bottle of serum. So she didn't buy it again. But like I said, if money was no object, I would be getting this. And I also consider throwing in like the eye serum version of this, but I think I would probably start with the face one. And if I liked it, I would go with the, the eye one. <sighs> next is, next is from Shantakai. And you guys know, I've, every time Shantakai comes out with something, I'm, I'm so tempted. I, like I really want to try some of their products, but they are really expensive. Shantakai in Australia is like really up there in prices. The first one is the Shantakai Radiance Cheek, sorry, Radiance Chic Cheek and Highlighter Duo in the Coral Colorway. I think this is the one that has the Stingray on the, is this the one that has the Stingray? Yes, this is the one, this is the beautiful blue packaging with the Stingray on the front. The imprints in the pants look absolutely beautiful. I am like this close. <laughs> I'm this close to buying this because I just think in every way this looks absolutely beautiful. It looks stunning. It looks glorious. I think that I would actually really like this product. Um, but $130, $135 is a, is a lot to be paying for a cheek highlighter and blush duo. Granted, the packaging is absolutely glorious. Um, the next uh, Shantikai product is the Philanthropy... Philanthropy... Uh, cheek color in emotion and this is the one that has the B imprint on it it looks absolutely beautiful I do believe on this one that the B imprint is like an overspray but nonetheless it still looks glorious it looks beautiful $64 once again a lot of money to be paying for a blush and the next one I just had to put on the list because I just could not resist the packaging is the Shantikai Luminescent Eye Shade in Giraffe. Now, um, a little thing that you guys don't know about me, giraffes are my all time favorite animal. So I had to put this eyeshadow on the list. It is $83 so for a single pan of eyeshadow. Like this eyeshadow needs to apply itself for me to be able to justify buying it. It is hella expensive. 
Then we have a few uh, cream cheek products. We have the Shantakai Cheek Gelée Blush in Vibrant. Uh, this is $70 for a cheek blush. Um, I just want to try this Gelée Cheek Formula. I remember back in the day, a lot of people were raving about the Shantakai uh, complexion products. Like I think it's the Gelée Bronzer and also the Gelée Blushes. So very interested very interested to check that one out. Then we have the Ciate London Dewy Blush in Coconut. Now the color I actually want to try is out of stock at the moment, but the color coconut is like my second choice. These are $35 and I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure about this formula, but if I had all the money, uh, I wouldn't really care. <laughs> I would just want to want to try the um the products this is supposed to be vegan glossy cheek tint and i'm interested to know whether it will dry down or whether it's going to stay sticky because it does say it's a glossy cheek tint so i'm intrigued by the formula but it says it's supposed to you know enhance skin radiance it's supposed to have hyaluronic acid in it it's got dragon fruit uh, the formula sounds really nice, except the fact of whether it dries down or not, whether it's going to stay tacky. Uh, so that one's more of a, I want to try it just out of curiosity more than anything. Few Dermalogica products, which I didn't think that I would add to the list, but I did. Uh, the first one is the Dermalogica Brighter Together Biolumin C Pack. This comes with a like vitamin C serum as well as a vitamin C like eye cream. It's $134 for the pack. You guys know I love trying different vitamin Cs. So I saw that one and I was like, that looks like a really great pack. You get two products in it. Um, and I'd be keen to try it actually. This might even be the next kind of vitamin C product that I try. Depending on if the pack is still available when I run out of my, the one that I'm currently using. I'm currently using the Dr. Dennis Gross um, vitamin C serum. But I might maybe check that one out when I run out of the Dr. Dennis Gross one. Um, and then the Dermalogica Daily Super Foliant. I just put the mini in my cart. You know, I can be reasonable sometimes. <laughs> um, so I just put the mini, the mini 13 gram one in my cart just to see what it's like. I just realized I totally forgot a product that I wanted to try. Uh, then we have the Dr. Dennis Gross uh, Professional Grade Resurfacing Liquid Peel. This is a two-step product this comes in at $167 you guys know I really like those um, like daily peels that Dr. Dennis Gross has but I refuse to buy them because they are so wasteful so I figured that I would try the the ones in the bottle and then I would only have to do it maybe like once every two weeks or once a week and I think that in the long run I think that the professional grade liquid would be better value than the single serve sachets. Moving on, I put a few products from Airy Perez in my cart. Now, Airy Perez is an Australian brand, I believe. First of all, I put in the Quandong Green Booster Serum for $40. It's green and it looks cool. <laughs> That's the only justification I have for throwing this one in the cart because it looks cool and I'm interested to see what it's like um, because it looks like um, a green juice that I'm going to put on my face. <laughs> then uh, the Airy Perez Arnica Concealer in Latte. I'm interested in this one. I don't know whether it would, it's really suited for my type of under eye area all that much. Um, Arnica is typically for like bruises. Um, so I would imagine that this is more designed for someone that has like really blue under eye areas, but I'd like to see what the formula is like. So, and it is a pot concealer and I don't think I've ever actually used a pot concealer. I have a sample of the NARS um, creamy matte concealer, but I don't think I've ever tried any other form of pot concealer. So interested to try that one and it's an Australian brand. So I want to try it. Let me know down in the comments box whether you guys would be interested in seeing me do like a full face of Airy Perez products because, you know, I'm, 
I'm, I'm keen if you're keen. Next is some products from Hourglass. Oh, my beloved Hourglass. So I put the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara, just the mini size, because you guys know I barely go through mascaras. Um, I don't wear mascara on a daily basis, so I didn't really see any point in me adding the full size to my cart. Like I said, I can be reasonable sometimes. <laughs> um, but in saying that, the mini of this mascara is still $22, which is pretty expensive. I also threw the Veil Translucent Setting Powder in my cart because I have tried the sample of this product and I really liked the powder, so I would be down to get a full size. And I couldn't go past Hourglass without throwing one of my favorite lipsticks in the cart. So the Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick in my favorite. Um, this is like, an everyday nudie pink color uh, for $58. They are very expensive lipsticks, but I love the formula. I threw in a perfume, the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. I would also like the Peony and Blush Suede, but it's currently out of stock. Um, so I only went with the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Uh, next is I've got a fair few products from Jouer because I'm dying to try some stuff from Jouer. So I've got the Jouer Blush Bouquet Jewel Blush Palette in Adore. Um, these normal everyday blushes. $48 for the duo. And also I really want to try the Soft Focus Hydrate Set Powder. I went for the color Fair because it's self-explanatory. Like... Translucent paper over here. I need the lightest color. Uh, $48 for that one as well. I like how most of their products are the same price. Uh, Jouer Sunswept Bronzer Duo in obviously light to medium. I still think that this might even potentially still be too dark for me, but it is $48 as well. I really want to try a lot of Jouer products. Um, next we have Lila B and I only have one product and it is... Yet another cream blush and this is in the color Be Daring. This is like quite a bright orange cream blush, but I, I wanted to try it. But this little guy is $72. No, sorry, $74. Um, hella expensive. Very, very expensive. But I think that this would be a really pretty color. NARS, I only have one product from NARS and it is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Siberia. $78. I've heard... I've heard mixed things about this foundation, but I would still be keen to um, to give it a try. You know, I'm open to try it. <sighs> Ray Morris, oh my gosh. I am dying to try some of Ray Morris's brushes. I only put two of her brushes on my list though. The first one is the uh, Jishaku number no. seven deluxe point shader. And the next one is the Jishaku um, number eight medium point shader. So these are like pointed blending brushes. These both are $85 and $80 respectively. Very expensive, but these are like handcrafted in Japan. Uh, I think that they would definitely be worth the, the price. I just haven't gotten around to purchasing any brushes from her because they're expensive. They're, they're expensive. One product from Ritual Defee is the Rare Light Cream Luminizer in Ghost Light. I just feel like this, you know, this is made for me. <laughs> My skin tone is ghost like I, I feel like ghost light, you know, it works. This is kind of like a purpley, pinky toned um, uh, illuminator. I think it'd be really pretty. Sand and Sky, I really want to try the Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Enzyme Polish powder a few products from smashbox <laughs> can you guys guess the products from smashbox the first one is the photo finish vitamin glow primer i'm actually really tempted like putting all fantasy list aside i'm really tempted to try this primer so you might possibly see this one in my collection in the future at some point maybe uh, then I have two of the Photo Finish Primer Waters. You guys know I love the Primer Waters. So I've got the Crystallized Photo Finish Primer Water in Aurora Shield, one of my all-time favorite scents, as well as the Primer Water Centering Citrus, another one of my all-time favorite scents in the Primer Waters. Uh, they're both $51. 
not yet. We are doing fantasy list, so of course you're going to see Sol de Janeiro on my list, and it is the Brazilian Hoya uh, Strengthening and Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. These are both these are $40 each and they are 295 mils. So they're $40 and you're getting like less than half a liter, way less than half a liter, uh, not even 300 mils, $40 and you're getting 295 grand, 295 mils of product, an absolute ripoff. But if my hair can smell like Sol de, Sol de Janeiro, Boom Boom Cream all day long, like that's what dreams are made of. <laughs> I know some of you absolutely hate the scent, but I really like it. If if my hair can smell like like caramel popcorn all day long, dreams, absolute dreams. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in Porcelain. I've been rabbiting on about this foundation for like years, um, saying that I've been wanting to try it. So of course I'm going to add it to my fantasy list, as well as the Too Faced Born This Way ethereal setting powder in just just the mini size i just want to try the mini size first before i buy the full size uh mini size is 24 dollars so kind of expensive then i have two products from urban decay and this is the stay naked weightless liquid foundation and i went with 10 and n that is $60 and the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer in 10NN for $45. I've heard great things about like this combo, the, the foundation and the concealer. So I definitely want to give it a try for myself. Few products from Westman Atelier. Now this brand is way overpriced, like way, way, way overpriced. But I threw in the contour stick into my cart, which is $77. And from what I've heard, like reports that I've heard from this brand is that you don't get much product and it's $77. The packaging though is sleek. It is beautifully sleek so very overpriced but you do get pretty packaging then the Westman Atelier baby cheeks blush stick this one is $80 and in the color is it duo 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 do do you do you I think it's do you do you do you which is a, a very pretty color as well I added some overpriced lip balms the first one is the Tatcha the kiss you lip mask for $40 and then the by Terry balm de rose lip balm summer edition for $82 now I want to point something out right here right now the limited edition summer edition lip balm from by Terry is actually I think it's $8 cheaper than the normal version of the By Terry Balm de Rose. Very weird. I don't know why. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. Um, and then I was going through the skincare and I thought, well, I'm nearly out of my cleansing oil. So if I was going to buy a cleansing oil from Mecca, I would grab the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse in the large size, which is $67.50. And I also want to try, I also want to try Go To Skin. So I grabbed or I threw the clean out uh, set into my cart, which I believe comes with... Um, it comes with the uh, facial foam, the exfoliating wipes, and okay, it looks like it comes with two cleansers, um, two cleansers and uh, a facial cloth. I don't know why it comes with two cleansers. That's really weird. Anyway, it's called the Clean Out Kit. Um, I thought that it had more thought it had other stuff in it but obviously not that's all right i would like to try go to skin we have two more products and then and then i promise i'm done um so the second to last product is these both are from tatcha um i can't believe i totally skipped over tatcha but the second to last product is the tatcha liquid silk canvas now i'm not I'm kind of on the fence about the silk canvas, the, the like putty one that comes in, in the round disc. Um, I'm on the fence. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just feel like it's a bit so-so. Um, but I hear rave reviews from the liquid silk canvas. So I would be keen to give that one a try. And I hear people say that the liquid canvas is so much better than the just the normal silk canvas. 
So that's definitely on the list, $83 from Mecca though. And the last one from Tatcha is the Rice Polish Deep Foaming Enzyme Powder. I've actually had like the enzyme powders on my wish list for a while. Um, and I hear good things about the one from Tatcha, but it is $104. So yes. Um, so my total cart comes to uh, 45 items. I definitely could have added way more items to the list, but there was a lot out of stock that I would potentially put in this cart if money was no object. Uh, so 45 items comes to uh, $3,112.40. That's a lot of money. That's a <laughs> It's a lot of money to be spending just at Mecca, but I would definitely get my <laughs> level three beauty loop for the year if I did purchase that. Um, there are some items on this list that I would really like to um, actually seriously try, um, but obviously I'm not going to spend $3,000 on makeup and skincare at the moment, but I would definitely like to try a few, a few of these items in the coming months. You might see a couple of these maybe before the end of the year, maybe in a review or a haul or something like that. That is my very expensive Mecca fantasy shopping spree cart. If money was no object, uh, this would be what I would like to pick up from Mecca. Uh, let me know what items would you include in your Mecca fantasy cart if money was no object. Let me know a few of those items down in the comments box. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you do want to join the beauty crew, uh, you can hit the subscribe button down below. There is also a join option down there if you are interested. You can check out all the membership details. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Ciao.